Okay, let's look at the stock market technical analysis. I just got finished with wrapping up a private member video where I went through tons of trade ideas. If you're interested in getting those kinds of videos or additional market insight, link in the description below of this video. It's five bucks a month, check it out, you can quit anytime. All right, in this video, I'm just gonna go through the broad markets and then we'll wrap up. So it'll be probably a pretty short video. Um, <clears throat> and uh, let's get into it. Triple Q's guys, we are, you know, we rallied up today on earnings with Tesla into what looks to be the final level of, re of resistance. There's one other level overhead uh, on Triple Q's, which is right there at 433.76. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get up there. Now, if we do get up there, because again, I don't know if we will, I don't think we will, but if we do, I would expect them to probably pop into this range a little bit intraday, but I would still be looking for a daily close above, or I mean below that. So I, I would look for a rejection, although if they get up there, they're probably gonna run some stops and, uh, and pop, pop into that level. Now, that's if they get up there. If they don't, then I th think they've, hit the high basically on this counter trend rally already today and we're starting the next like lower that's the way i'm leaning that's what i'm thinking it's going to do again if i go to the um you know if i kind of mark out this first impulsive leg lower right here then you've got a bear flag you've got a flag pull down you're flagging out over the last couple of days um, look, you know, the volume has been dropping off. You can see it's kind of in the background, but you can see the volume has been dropping off and you take basically the high point of the flag somewhere right in there. You could even move it up a little bit, but it basically sets us up for the next move lower down to about 402. You get down there, you're probably going to at some point tag that 200 day moving average. And that's the way I'm leaning. All right. I'm leaning towards the next impulsive leg lower, likely gonna be due to some of these uh, mega cap tech earnings uh, with gap downs. And I think we'll see the VIX spike as well. So that's uh, that's it basically. We are at resistance. This big negative divergence that was in play all through this topping pattern uh, tells me that, that we haven't satisfied the downside yet. We haven't seen the VIX spike. So again, next leg lower, uh, I, is, is inbound. I think it's, you know, I, honestly, I think it's already started. All right. So that'll be that. Let's look at the NASDAQ futures. Um, you can see on the NASDAQ futures, same kind of thing. We did hit, let me go down to the hourly chart on this one. So on the futures, you can see we hit some resistance right through here. All right. Boom. Tagged it and rejected so far. Uh, potential uptrend line looks like they're starting to slice through that we'll see if the if they actually do on the hourly uh, and you also have negative divergence showing up on the hourly chart as well so yeah again I, I think we are starting that next leg lower all right Tesla this one I'm not trading this I don't have a position in it but I did talk about you know how I would anticipate the earnings go I said that it was very likely going to be a long uh, you know, post earnings because of the bullish divergence, big bullish divergence that had been building. Now it did rally right into downtrend line resistance. All right. And so from my perspective, you know, that might be it. Uh, I'm not going to trade it. I don't want to touch it because, and I wouldn't go along now because um, of how the broad markets look to be set up. Uh, you know, if you took, if you wrote it long into earnings, then, you know, I think it would make sense to kind of take profit and let the dust settle on that one. But, you know, obviously that was priced into the charts to see that rally. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, when you look at some of these stocks, like Nvidia is really the, the king, but rallying into resistance here. All right. looks like we've got some We've got some uh, resistance rallying into it. They're selling into it. So I do think we've got another leg lower. Uh, minimum, go fill this gap. This is the next level of support. It's about 691. The bull should be sitting there. So that's where I think we're pushing down to. And that would be a drop of about, oh, 14%. From the highs, that would be a drop all the way from the highs down about 30%, all right? So that makes sense for the next move lower in NVIDIA. 
And I'll just go into this a little bit. I already went into this to the private mem member video, but it's not what happens during earnings. It happens, it, large institutions, big money, can't move their positions around post earnings in the after hours. So I get a lot of comments, a lot of trolls mostly, coming out in the after hours. Oh, you're, you, see, we're up whatever percentage in the after hours. They get all excited only to get sold into when the market opens. So like Visa is an example. Gapped up post earnings, uh, you know, get open the day and big money says, now we can sell our position. Boom, and selling it. They've pretty much faded the entire post earnings gap. So if you were all excited post earnings on this one, because maybe you're long, uh, then you've given all that back, all right? And if you shorted, you're profitable. So, the, uh, and I am short this one. Uh, I think that's probably it for this and we're probably heading lower on Visa down to the 200 day and support about 254 ish. So again, it, it really matters what happens it, during regular market hours where big institutions can move billions of dollars because you know, for every seller, you need a buyer and for every buyer, you need a seller. They need liquidity to move those big positions and it's just not there in the after hours. So what's big money doing in Visa today? They're selling, all right, the, that's really, the, all we really need to understand is what the big money is doing uh, in, in Visa today, they're selling it. <clears throat> we, um, this one obviously continuing to rally. This has been one of the few long trades I have right now, uh, rallying into the 200 day. So I'm probably gonna close out that long uh, as we approach the 200 day. I, you're likely gonna get a pullback at the 200. You hit the 200, especially with this just one way trip up, I think you're probably gonna get a pullback down to some support. I do like it long term. I think it's a buy the dip stock right now. But yeah, maybe that pull back down to about 551. Test that support before continuing to rally. Um, okay, so the semiconductors for the most part have been mostly the reason for a lot of the this rally uh, interest rates and in semiconductors. And you can see we're trading right now into resistance. There's the SOX, the semiconductor ETF. Former support, okay, and now resistance. Uh, obviously, negative divergence had shown up, so that's it. They're selling it, getting rejected at resistance. Down we go. Uh, should head down to the 200-day moving average, I would expect. Uh, there's also some support right here at about 195.33. We didn't quite get there, so they might try to hold it there. But I think if we start to get close, we'll just pop down and hit that 200-day. All right, I'm going to get the video out. That's really all I got. Best of luck, guys. Uh, drop me a thumbs up. Catch you on the next one. Bye.